And yeah, the grace note thing he's doing is really brilliant, like, uh... Fuck, sorry, I'm pretty rusty myself. Um, I haven't, I, I haven't watched the other part to understand it yet, but, you know... So all you want to do is basically... The, um, no, I mean, you just, like, arpeggiating, stuff like that, you know, usually you can just kind of pick, I always just picked things, like, shapes that I thought looked neat, whether my hand was comfortable sitting in, and I would just mess around with getting, uh, just letting that happen, you know, like, um, like, usually going from the pinky towards the thumb is the more natural thing, as opposed to, like, going the other way, going from the thumb to the pinky which is a little weird, right? You would think it would be starting with a dominant finger, but there's something just muscularly more easy to me about just like letting that happen as opposed to I have to kind of think about that to make it happen as opposed to and so um with well, a jazz progression that I wrote, my brother always really liked. It's like, uh, bruh, I don't know if I can do this with just one hand, but it's like, um, uh, no, I can't. Let's see. Anyways, I'll I'll set it down. You can at least hear it. Okay, started in F. really kind of farted my way into this but it is, is pretty great like um fucking sustain pedal keeps sliding away across both hands and just don't think about it that much just let it be an easy it's just a fifth in the left hand C and G then D E flat and B flat in the right hand then it's a move the fifth in the left hand up half a step and the right hand is F G and C so back and forth. The right, uh, then we move up to F. It's the same shape as when we we're on C. It's a fifth in the bass. The right hand is, um, you know, G, A flat, E flat. And then you move up a whole step. That's a special one. Goes, it's um, uh, E flat fifth in the left in the bass in the right hand. It's the same thing as some of the other ones. It's um, F G and C. It's natural. So 
then those two dissonant jazz chords that it resolves on that are so cool. It's very simple, but it just creates such a nice dissonance with everything else. It's, um, it's E natural, fifth in the bass. And then on the right hand, it's G, A, D. The second iteration of it, um, the right hand stays the same, but the left hand just drops half a step. So. And when I did a little fill between of, that's literally just moving the inversion up in the right hand, like, G, A, D, then just move the G, move that up an octave. So it's instead it's A, D, G. You move it again, like that. 